Hello, my name is Peter Rosthorn, and I'm developing learning resources on how to implement Mozilla's Open Badges infrastructure. I'm creating a series of screencasts and step-by-step -step guides to help the learner understand how to use the Open Badges infrastructure in numbers of different learning and skills and knowledge acquisition sort of strategies. Uh, today's screencast is mostly going to fo focus on uh, a particular case study. I am creating a number of uh, real-life and fictional case studies, uh, but this one is a case study that comes from how to implement open badges uh, within a Wikiversity course. Um, the idea here being is, is that there's an open educator who's interested in having issuing badges from their Wikiversity course. Um, the development of the course is, is more as a sort of a, a, an open resource and doing it in their spare time. Um, really have the idea of, of being able to issue badges for certain milestones and learning outcomes being met um, as the person or the learner progresses through the course. Um, one of the things that Wikiversity already has is the idea of a barn star. Uh, which is really quite similar to what uh, uh, Mozilla Open Badge is, but it, it's technically and, and, and it exists within the, the Wikiversity environment differently than a Mozilla Open Badges uh, exists sort of out on the Internet. So um, the person developing the course really wants to support Open Badges, and, and so they're wanting to, to create a system where they can use Open Badges infrastructure against the course. Um, the idea of the solution that, that the, the course developer or the open educator has come up with is one where, where as the person progresses through the course um, and they hit certain milestones within the different themes of learning that are within the course, they will be awarded a badge. Um, and this will be done by you know, meeting the, the cri learning criteria of the particular module. They'll have to create evidence um, that says that they've learned the, what the criteria is and sort of register or request a badge be issued and, and, and a course facilitator or a peer assessment to show that the evidence does actually meet the criteria um, for the course. One of the main restraints uh, of implementing open badges against uh, Wikiversity is that there are no sort of internal Wikiversity technical resources that are available uh, to support the open badges infrastructure. So uh, implementing this outside of the Wikiversity infrastructure from a technical perspective is sort of one of the technical restraints. Um, the need to host certain information about the criteria of the course or even some of the evidence of, of completing uh, the outcomes of the criteria, they may be stored within Wikiversity as, as a person progresses through their coursework, uh, but in general, the, the, the very technical side of being able to be a badge issuer uh, is not a part of the Wikiversity environment at this time. Um, so to get started, the idea here is, is that there's this course within Wikiversity. Um, the course is focused on, on developing mobile web applications, but, but the main point here is looking at how the course is structured. Uh, you can see here that there, there's a bunch of information here about the course, the concept map, and, and those sorts of ideas. But the, really the main part about this course is this idea that there are badges for the course and a, a sort of a, a badge systems design that has been put together for the course. Um, the course is really, it's a, it's a course and the technology is based on a three-tier uh, based technology and the person has sort of logically designed the courses to look at each of those three tiers and within each of the tiers there is sort of a, a design, a sys badge system design that fits within that and as you can see here an introductory level you've got sort of a white badge and it talks about you know what are the sort of the criteria in more general terms about how to be awarded this particular badge and as the person progresses through the course um, you know the, the, the criteria sort of grows in complexity and the badge uh, visual changes through time so as you can see here uh, this particular badging system sort of moves from a beginner level um, all the way through to sort of an advanced uh, and an expert mastery level and you can see here, here that the criteria for being awarded this badge also sort of progresses so that's the sort of the overall badge system that's being created for this particular course but as you dive into each of the modules, 
you'll be able to see that each module also contains information about how the badge is to be earned. So here you can see um, within this particular chapter uh, uh, the outline of the course, which is quite quite extensive. But as you sort of drill down here, it's also got this idea of what's the criteria for completing this module and being issued the badge. So if you look here, you can see here that there's a series of projects that the learner would go through and a number of quizzes more from a self-assessment perspective. But the idea here is is that they can work through here. And if they work through these these projects, and as you can see, they're embedded as a part of the course described in the course, um, the uh, or quizzes that they can do to check their understanding of the course. Um, once they complete that, that they can then put their evidence together in some form, which is giving flexibility to the learner of how they want to put their evidence together that they can. But then they sort of apply for the badge by taking chapter evidence and putting it into the actual sort of making the request um, based on on this evidence page for this particular chapter and then if everything goes well and their evidence proves out to meet the criteria then they would be awarded this particular badge um, and as you see here a written description of what the badge is so that's the idea of how the badges are going to be awarded within this course they're going to be um, at each chapter level and then once you get into the chapter uh, you can read the criteria and then you know once you finish and you want to show your ability to meet it you will insert a line of code uh, using the sort of the w wikipedia uh, uh, syntax and you will bit the assessor or the f uh, facilitator of the course will be prompted to assess your evidence against the criteria and you will be awarded the badge um, as you can see here uh, that holds true for other modules within the course uh, so that was the first chapter. If you look at the second chapter, again, there is another set of criteria and an evidence page to say that you're meeting the uh, uh, needs of the course.